Are we live? Uh, we should be live. No one's in prison, are they? Here, you, me. You know, when you jump right into that. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, wow. <laughs> Ah, I don't approve of the thumbnail you used, by the way. I did. Uh, I did change the the show thumbnail. I can change it again. I just, you know, I thought big news. People would want to hear about it. A friend of the show is uh, <laughs> not your friend. <laughs> well, not you my friend. Like him. Definitely not after that thumbnail. No, I like. I like. Look, uh, now he's in jail. You like him? No, no, no. Look, me and Nick uh, had uh, some animosity, but then we met at multiple. You lives. framed him, didn't you? You I called did not the cops on him. I didn't didn't call you? this in. This is not me. Look, uh, I like Nick. I mean, Nick. You know, uh, I think we've had some good arguments over the year. We are opposed politically, but of course, I do not you want to rob a liquor in. store. You could be his roommate. Yeah, maybe we like can hang so out. Much. Maybe I'll go get a bunch of guns and drugs, and then I can replicate the Nick Ricada experience. The uh, very fun thrill ride, which has now landed Nick Ricada, his wife, and April Steel. Okay, Co. okay, okay. <laughs> Let's take it easy on the wife. <laughs> what? I'm just accurately reporting what happened. I didn't say anything bad about her. She's in jail because her husband, I assume, had drugs and guns. Okay. And uh, <laughs> that's what happened. I'm not, you know, and that's fine. Whatever. You know what? Maybe these charges. In a non-drug area. In a right? non-drug that's area. Totally, you can't have that yeah, in a drug-free zone. That. You could get Subway wherever I you mean, want. I mean, Nick said some, uh, you know, Nick, Nick, he got the veto curse. He should have not uh, picked those fights with me way back when. Don't, you don't have a curse. Ralph has a curse. Ralph has a curse. It's probably more a Ralph curse than anything else. Uh, you have any idea how bad this makes me look? It makes you look well. I, you know, you. This week has been an interesting week, and I saw you tweeting some things, and I was there. You know, of course, I'm very loyal, and I'm loyal to the show. You're not loyal at all. What are you loyal. talking about? I'm very loyal. You are not. What do you? I'm very what do you loyal. define as loyal? I, I, You're ready well, to rat right away. Well, you know, of course, I'll defend you until you sh- actually. I'll defend you past the point where you're in prison. <laughs> so this week, for those of you who missed it. Uh, began. My friend just got out of federal prison hey, well, on Wednesday, yesterday. A different friend? Yes. Well, now you have another pen pal. You can send him a little letters, ask him uh, ask him how he's doing, all the fun things he's doing. Earlier this week, uh, I was up late, and I sent Dick a text, and I said, you have got to tune in to Nick Ricada's stream. And he said, why? Is, he, is it a really fun one? And I said, no, he's drunk out of his mind. And uh, the famous uh, Nick Ricada stream, which is audio is too loud. Too loud. Oh, yeah. it's earlier this saying? week. Oh yeah, you saying, gotta turn on Nick. Yeah, and he's fucked up. Yeah. I turned on Nick. He was streaming. He was very drunk. I said, "Oh, this is." And you know, normally, I, have I ever texted you about a Nick Ricada stream before? No, I was like, "Wow, he's really drunk." Like, he uh, pretty drunk. He left the room for like forty-five minutes. Everyone in the chat was just hanging out, being like, "Where the fuck did Nick Where go? Where did this fucker go? Where did this fucker go? I'd I hope he didn't him. go to jail." I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then all this week, there's been a lot of uh, people saying, I think uh, Nick Ricada needs to get help. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you decided to step in and say, no, no, everything's, everything's he fine. Need, he doesn't need a bunch of f- fucking retards shouting at him on the internet. I agree. Well, you know what? I was Neither on- did Ralph. <sighs> I'm going to say I saw that and I said, well, I think, you know, he's having fun on the stream. I think he knows he's a little too drunk, but he's playing He's got to take up Eric July on his offer to go to rehab now. Well, now Eric July <laughs> offered to pay... <laughs> Here's the thing is that this is the kind of situation where, you know, look, it could be a big problem. It could also just be a series of uh, misadventures. It's, uh, of course it's a series of misadventures. It's a series of misadventures. <laughs> Come on, Vito. He got a little too drunk and then unrelated. He, uh, I guess, for got some reason, eye. for some reason, April Steeltoe is uh, at his house. I don't know who that is. Well, uh, I, she doesn't wor- look like she's worth five to ten. No, I, just I don't think she's one. worth five to ten either. I didn't see her on the mugshot sh- mug shotties, that's for sure. It's a very confusing situation, but basically a, there's another podcaster named Steeltoe whose uh, wife is divorcing him. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. People let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's people need to know. And he said, oh, well, that's yeah. interesting. You know, they're having a divorce. She used to be his co-host on the show, so a lot of people, especially in the WA. Did he call the cops? Uh, no, he's, you know, it doesn't sound like he did. Do you know? No, but I will say people in the Dabbleverse, who will be at Hackamania, don't forget, biggest problem will be there. He's Do ex-husbands call biggest. the cops on their wives? <laughs> 
it's possible. It's possible. possible he called it in. Look, I hope not. I hope not. I don't <sighs> think he would call the cops on his ex-wife, the mother of his children. Regardless, somehow I don't think April, she is the mother of his somehow children. April Steeltoe ended up at Nick Ricada's house. Yeah, and now uh, because it seems like it may be related that because of that, and maybe because of the stream where he was drinking, someone called the cops. Somehow the cops got involved. Somehow the cops got involved. <laughs> I'm picturing blow. You know, Johnny Depp, except I'm pick- it's Nick yeah. behind the wheel with Penelope Cruz freaking out. <laughs> oh, no, man. This is my fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh, no. Wake up. Wake up. Somebody wake me up. Nick Ricada has... Uh, look, the point The point is that Nick Ricada is currently in oh. jail. I don't believe he's been bailed out yet. Uh, facing charges for... On, a, on Memorial Day weekend? On Memorial he's not getting out till Tuesday. Oh, shit, really? That's how uh, the law works. Oh, no, because Monday's yeah. a holiday, so he's got to wait. Yeah, you got to sit around and wait. Well, tomorrow's Friday, though. They could possibly get a oh, bail hearing okay. tomorrow. Oh, okay, well, you flip it around real fast. Yeah, let's hope that Thank that God happens. he's been really nice to the judges and law enforcement. Yeah, they all uh, love him down there. Uh, they might like him. He's a fun guy. <laughs> he's too fun. He's a little too fun. <laughs> Uh, again, the charges as we've seen them no. are so is it drug possession? I believe yeah, it's not, it's drug not intent possession. to distribute. I hope let's see. And, they throw uh, everything at you, man. Yeah, and firearms, bunch oh. of guns, sentence enhancers, you know, any kind of gun. Yeah, boom, that makes this is one. Is it worse. a sense, but, but but so they must be illegally owned firearms. It doesn't have to, to be shit. You can have a legally if owned firearm. You got illegal and stuff and you got dangerous stuff to around gun, it. Yeah, it's worse. I don't know anything about any of that. <sighs> All I know is that Eric July should have paid for this. God damn Eric July! Quicker. <laughs> God damn Eric July! Eric July, of course. God damn it! After this, yeah, uh, Eric, why didn't you pay last week for his rehab? <laughs> Eric, July you fucking, up Eric July forced him into this. Eric July made this happen. You were stressing him out with all your Eric the July, antics. Eric uh, July saw the drunk stream, and he, of course, posted a big rant blaming certain edge lords and degenerates for pushing a good Christian man like Nick Ricada down this path. And uh, offering to pay for Nick uh, Ricada's uh, rehab. And Null is still angry at me. Well, I see a lot of people <laughs> who are who have this narrative that if it weren't for the dastardly Dick Masterson, that there's no way Nick Ricada would have brought this woman into his house and forced her to take drugs and whatever the fuck's <laughs> oh, going yeah. on. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, it's the only, the only possible <laughs> way. Is to, and I'm sitting there. I invented and it. And I'm sitting there thinking, I've been hanging out with Dick for two years, and I never had a married woman coming to my house and get a threesome fact, and a bunch of you, drugs hey, and guns. Hey, 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 that's enough, that's enough yeah. coffee for you. <laughs> exactly. You cut me off from all the fun. You let Nick Ricada do whatever he wants. How's the audio? Is the audio good? I think uh, I think our audio. Let's just all take solid. a break. Big. Uh, anyway, the big L for you. Sorry that I did this, everyone. Well, I know it's, everything's my fault. Mm. As Johnny, the audio engineer, has told me, I need to lean into it. You need I to need lean to into being the bad it guy. Is, no, it is my fault. I tried to stop it. And I didn't do it right. Like Cable from X Men Cartoon '97. Okay, <laughs> well, you need to go back in time and prevent Ricada from bringing April Steeltoe into his house. I'm preventing something so much co- bigger. I'm mom- preventing something yeah. much bigger. That's why I have to do all this bad stuff so that bad stuff happens to the people who are instrumentally not in an evil way. They were just tricked into going yeah. along with this giant machination of what ultimately is the resurrection of Christ in the end of the world. You got a uh, alternate uh, cut of butterfly effect at. You ever see the original ending of that movie? No, what is it? Ash Kutcher goes back in time and strangles himself in the womb. So he's never born. This is a movie? Well, they didn't release Sounds that Sounds like ending. a movie you would write. <laughs> <laughs> Audiences went, why the fuck a fetus is going to wrap that cord around its... No, this, is, this is horrible. Uh, All yeah. right, are you ready? I, I'm as ready as all Oh, uh, should I hit the wrong That's button? You! Uh, That's you! That's <laughs> you! Ah, uh, Nick doesn't have a problem. It's right Everything's there. fine. It's you guys right, don't understand right Nick the way I understand there. Nick. Well, I mean, one of those tweets would have been fine. He could have done one. Nah, because then I they don't got, then think they Nick argue has a problem me. tweet. I didn't say that. Yeah. I said. Nick has a problem, but it's cool. No, I said, and I was right. That guy said, this is rock bottom. And I said, no, it's not. <laughs> you were right about that. This is rock bottom. This is pretty, this is definitely rock bottom. Was I right or was I right? You were very right. This is rock bottom. No. He was far away from rock bottom at the time you said that. Yeah. Rock bottom's in about 12 hours. Yeah. (laughs) Rock bottom is, uh. All I'm saying is. The five-year charges that you're currently facing. Oh, is that rock bottom? No. No, no. What are you going to call this one then? 
I'll say this well, is the worst. This is the I'll worst say, thing ever. I'll say he's not even at rock bottom yet. You know what I'm really worried about? I hope he doesn't lose that Rumble deal. That's my <laughs> biggest. Because that'll be like <laughs> the death knell. <laughs> oh, no. Andrew if Tate, Rumble goes, Andrew Tate gets yeah. arrested for uh, raping a minor, or yeah, his brother fine. raped a minor. Yeah, he's just cool. rape and yeah. cor- and uh, human trafficking. Nick gets popped for doing something that I think should be legal. Right. <laughs> and they're going to go, well, you know, as a conservative company, we have certain values we have to uphold. And oh, this man. drug conviction, we just don't think we can continue. Quartering, I saw the last thing he said, oh, you should get a 12-hour suspension for how drunk he was. I'm like, what the 12-hour <laughs> suspension? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if, if any Rumble executives are listening to this, I'm sure they're not. This is probably the greatest drama you're ever going to have on that stupid network. If you if you end that Sneak, deal now, pay somebody a you're at, a moron. Hide this a is webcam gold. in someone's yeah. ass. Sneak it in there. Sneak Nick. it into prison. Nick will do a prison show for you, Rumble. That'll be a good show. If Nick goes to prison and he, they let him live stream from prison, that's going to be the best broadcasting you'll ever see. <laughs> I'm so That sad. would be fantastic. <laughs> It's all gonna work out. <laughs> you're you're very convinced it's not gonna work out. I'm like, no, no, no. it's not gonna work out. It's some might work out. He's a, he doesn't have any no. other like violent offenses on his record or anything. Oh man, oh man. You're I saying wish he's I in could have your optimism. You, you I told no you, optimism. man. My friend just got out of federal prison for doing nothing. Boogie tried to kill a guy. It's fine, and he didn't go to jail. So Nick Ricada should be fine. He didn't fire a gun at anybody. <laughs> if Boogie got out. Surely Nikki Ricketts is going to be fine. People hate. If, it's just a matter of what people hate. They fucking hate drugs and yeah. they fucking hate anything with other guys' wives because they're afraid of losing their wife. They yeah. fucking hate that shit. It is true. It is a weird optics game. Uh, Actually, Nick would have a better time if he was a big fat guy like Boogie and go yeah. in there and cry about blood cancer. <laughs> and then they go, oh, I don't want to put this sad sack in jail. He's going to just fucking Nick's kill gain himself. 300 pounds. Yeah, Nick, you got to get fat. You got to get fat and go in front of the judge. Go, I don't know. What I got. You want my kids back. And uh, then you'll be fine. Uh, okay, now I'll play the actual my next, theme. Now, is the Dick Masterson curse going to strike me next? That's what yeah, why do you think I'm trying to make you lose weight? I love saying. that. No, why don't you say something? I'm like, I've been bullying as hard as I can. <laughs> Vito for a year, and I've got him to lose twenty pounds. Almost thirty. Uh, <laughs> do you do you understand what the how stupid what it is that you're saying? Yeah. Why didn't you do something? I have this guy right in front of me. I'm teasing him with toys and trinkets, and I can barely <laughs> barely move, move the, the needle. needle. And I think that he's deciding to do it on his own. Actually, well. quite honestly, <laughs> I don't think I even deserve any credit. How do you think people work? Shit for brains. <laughs> We have to save Nick Ricada. This is the Save Nick Ricada stream. All your super chats. I'm assembling will go a team. Towards, uh, thoughts and prayers that we will be assembling. I'm assembling here a team. Uh, Brandon Herrera, mm. for a weapons expert. Yes. Chrissy Mayer, a bomb expert. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> That's the meanest thing you've ever said about Chrissy Mayer. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> let's just do. We're burning every fucking bridge tonight. Let's do it. Who cares? No one will ever want to be friends with me again. Welcome to jail, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> it's the biggest <laughs> problem <laughs> in the universe. <laughs> Don't drop the soap. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show in the universe that covers every problem from a uh, gaming hose to Ohio. Gaming ho to Ohio. How about that? Egeo. Inter- Egeo, sorry. That was my fake internet name. I'm your host, uh, <laughs> Mr. Rongo. <laughs> All week on Twitter, I was like, well, Dick, you don't got to defend him that hard. You know, he's no, you do. clearly embarrassing that he, yeah, I know. Ah, uh, what are you going to do? He's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, no. <laughs> he's got all those kids. They're not going to lock him up with all those kids and whatever else. Oh, know? that's called uh, leverage yeah. for the government. For the state. To get yeah, him to agree yeah, to a yeah. plea deal. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. You can plea it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. California, you know, <laughs> it's a great state. You well, could go. Well, if you were in California, we'd be we'd be laughing. We'd be saying, what they find we're on all, you? We're really loud still, Kara? All right. Y'all are really loud. All right. All, all right, right, Kara, all right. we're going to bring it down. Uh... How about that? I mean, you can't turn your volume down. What are you? What are you talking about? Be laughing. We'd be saying. That doesn't, I mean, that doesn't seem no, that loud. 
We'll see. All right, maybe my girlfriend can put it on and text me if something's up. Uh, California, you could smoke fentanyl in front of City Hall, and the cops will show up and, uh, you know, give you a bit. I guess that's why I have such a uh, lackadaisy uh, uh, opinion on the situation is that I'm in California where nobody goes to jail for anything. <laughs> so I don't know the, uh, you know, for anything at all. <laughs> You know, I beat uh, the shit out of that woman, tried to kill that cop, and I'm still just walking around having fun. Tried to kill a cop. I tried to kill matter. a cop, and they said, hey. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you knocked that uh, off. Okay. slap on the wrist. <clears throat> All right, everybody's well, saying see, the uh, audio is fine. Good. I don't think I even wrote down. I won last week, didn't I? <laughs> wow, you're really. <laughs> I <laughs> thought I copied it down. You know, this is stuff I normally fuck up on. You know what's great is uh, this week earlier this week I said, "Hey, N hey Dick, you know what would be great is if we got Nick on the show." And you said, oh, "I'll I'll text him. You know, the day of the show to see if he can come on." I did. He his and, phone was in uh, jail. Yeah. Well, I, I got a text from you, and you said, "I don't know why I can't." No response. I can't get a hold of Nick. And then thirty minutes later, you went, "Oh fuck." Uh -oh. <laughs> get a text that just says, well, this is going to be a weird show. So all of you think uh, Dick called in the hit. Up until like an hour before the show, he's like, I think we can get Nick on. I think Nick would call in. I would say this stuff, though, if I did put on the hit. This is exactly what I would yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. We coordinated all this. Female gamers. Female gamers. Number one. Yeah, Again, a women prom. That's fine. Be. Bad cell service. Women prom should win. Forgetting to hit record. I don't know why that's negative. I guess because everyone thinks None it's so funny. None of these so people funny. do anything. That uh, requires them to record themselves. Yeah. In every other instance, it's a good thing. Yeah. That you forgot. Oh, thank God I didn't record that. And then Donkey Jelly and last, which I think you guys are not respecting, the, uh, the the beautiful donkey, which needs to be saved. I'm not just talking about Nick Ricada. Uh, donkey Jelly? Yeah. Donkey bad. Jelly's good. That was a good problem. If you had spent less time shilling Super Killer and more time helping Nick... And being Helping supportive. him do what? You're his friend. Fucking st Why April you? Steel Toe. I don't know if she was there because it was just like she's a friend who's getting divorced. But my theory All right, let's call hear me it. crazy. Let's hear it. I don't actually I'll know. I'll blink twice I if I agree with know. you. And I'll blink. I mean, how how local is she to Nick Ricada? Uh oh, I, I regret this this blinking bit. <laughs> I have salt in my eyes. All right, well, I don't know. Uh, I look, don't know anything about her. If Nick was, uh, if Nick was doing, I don't. You know what? It's not my place to judge. I hope everything works out. <laughs> Moving women into your house, never. Moving women, it. you know what? Like <laughs> that's. that's I'm gonna say if there's trouble. a divorced woman, like uh, any of go, them, any of them. You, go, you know what? Any hey, of them. Here's twenty bucks. Here's a couple bucks for a fucking hotel. No, you can't. A bad come one. Stay a bad, a bad hotel one. in a bad. Get one where the the door opens onto the right onto the street. Martin Luther King Boulevard. Go down there. There's a really nice place. Yeah. It's a motel uh, uh, three. You're bringing in a lot of crazy. When you bring in a, a newly divorced woman. Uh, okay. You're fucking Mr. Know-it-all. Have you? I, yeah, I mean, this is what annoys me so much about it. Oh, he's rock bottom. He's going to drink himself to death. Oh, he's arrested. We were right. It's like, no, you weren't right. I, I don't know what's going I just have a theory. It seems to be. I think Nick drinking was nothing new. Nick always drinks. But this uh, this April steel toe situation is like a new variable where I go, well, there you go. What happened there? What's that all about? <laughs> And I can't oh, wait. You cracked the cut. I can't wait to find out more about it on my favorite podcast, WATP, which oh, we will be which appearing with oh, in no. Vegas. And that's all we're going to be talking about. Guys, don't forget, next week in Vegas, Hackamania, we will be doing a live show on Friday, the <laughs> Free Nick Ricada. Live from San Falso Prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing the Free Nick Ricada benefit. That's what's what the, the, what's that's the federal what prison in, in, uh, in, in wherever <laughs> out there? Where is it? In Vegas? <laughs> we're going to Joliet. Yeah, we're going to do a we're Locking them up in fucking Reno. <laughs> At the end of Blue, Blues Brothers. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we will be in Vegas. Don't uh, forget to go to hackamania.com. Use promo code BIGGEST. And maybe we'll have the free Nick Ricada event. Uh, we'll raise some money for his uh, legal fund. How's what should that? I do? What should, should I, you do? Should I drink twice as much now because Nick can't this weekend? Or should I should you drink should I, for Nick? Should I not drink at all? I think double, right? Well, I, think, I don't want to upset the uh, demon that possessed them. Well, I'd say if this Clearly, was, the demon wanted liquor, so I don't want to... Yeah. I'm going to make a tribute to the demon by drinking twice as much as I normally would. 
this weekend, which Hold is probably on. more than... Hold on. What? Well, you're like a Hollywood guy. You know the rules of script writing. This is the moment in the drug movie where, where you, you double down. No, no. Well, yes, it is. Yeah, but that means you're going to hit your rock bottom next. But it's the point of the movie. <laughs> no, what the are you talking about? No, the point of the movie is the other guy dies in prison and then you like learn a lesson. Then I'm not the main character of the movie. No, the main character can learn a lesson and get sober. Are you trying to make Requiem for a dream here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're supposed to emerge from out of the darkness, not to send into the liquor. Into it. You're you have to You're triumph. You're the wrong arc. No, no, I'm not. Okay. If you have a liquor problem, you try to beat it, but then you learn that you have to embrace who you are, and you reverse it, and then it saves you. I know how to write a script. What movie did you ever watch <laughs> where the character's lesson was, I need to drink Beer fest. more? Beer fest. An incredible yeah, movie. Classic. <laughs> One of the classics they teach in all the script writing classes. <laughs> This is the moment in the movie where, like, your friend dies of heroin. This is train, Prometheus. This wasn't, is train, there, wasn't the point. This is the dead baby in Train Spotting. Okay, and there's a that there's a lady movie. crying over a dead baby, and you go, "I got to get off the junk." Yeah, and but then you're saying them, that's a joke. This would be like that a train a spotting. He if was he saw the dead baby, and he said, "I need more heroin to deal with this dead baby." He was saying that sarcastically. Which might have happened in train like spotting. Like, I, I need to get off this heroin. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you didn't pick up that subtext because you have I guess that subtext because you have autism. No. Well, I'm glad you're figuring out your narrative arc in the wake of your friends. He was just tired. Arrest. He was mostly tired. He was just tired. He was mostly tired. He, was a sleepy he had guy. some bad news. Bad news, sleepy guy. I've been that tired and that drunk. It's Went mostly to the bathroom tired. For Forty-five minutes just fell to hang asleep. Out. Probably fell asleep on the toilet. It happens to me all the it time. Sleep. Uh, sometimes you take a little toilet nap. Nothing wrong with it. We have broken our uh, record for all-time <laughs> concurrent viewers, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Yellow Ghost David. says. Uh, <laughs> It's not funny. Stop making it. Stop making. <laughs> what do you light want me to it? do? It's a fucking humor podcast, and uh, Nick Rickett is in jail. I talked to because he fucked April Steele toe, probably. <laughs> I talked. I talked to an addiction specialist, and he said that we yeah. have to be concerned now more than ever. Sure. And pretend. You want to call up the jail? Let's call up the jail. I wonder if we can get him. Uh, Let's get, swat the jail. Uh, <laughs> don't fucking say that. <laughs> That's the only way to get him out. I need a, a business expert. I need Eric July because the jail's kind of like a warehouse. So I got Eric July oh, as God. the warehouse expert. Chrissy yeah. Mayer is uh, demolition. I don't know. You confuse that with a joke or something. Right. Demolition specialist. Who else did specialist. I say? You said Brandon Herrera. I Brandon believe. Herrera is yeah. a weapon specialist. And Doug Tenables, you got those long, in case we need to get anything off the shelf. Doug yeah. can come in. Grab it. Big old tall. And Doug, the keys for Nick's jail cell are on a very tall shelf. I can't get it, even with Chrissy Mayer on my shoulders, which I can only do for a, a second or two before yeah. I'm worried about my spine breaking. Can you come in? See, there's another another bad joke. I got it. <laughs> I got there. Can you come in? The biggest problem in the universe is going to be all the fucking moralizing from all these fucking YouTube guys, man, going, well, that's what happens. I know, I really what? hate that. Oh God! Would they all think they're like a paragon, like a lifestyle? Dude, people coach? can't beat addiction. Like it's really hard. They have to do it for themselves. You can't. You can't stop them. You can treat them like yeah. total shit. You can treat them like they're gods, and it's just random if it works or not. I've known people who are like it's addicted, so and it's stupid. like the idea that yeah, oh, why didn't you like help them do this thing? And it's like you can like people do that. Like you think there's not people around them all the time, or whatever yeah. else. Yeah. It's like, no, they're addicted to a substance. Yeah, it's And that's why so fucking annoying. I don't have to lose weight. It's not a big <laughs> deal, all right? Well, <laughs> just in case anyone's confused, I'm stop not trying really to, trying to help you, though. I'm just using yeah, his using addiction for, for comedy. It's not. It's very yeah, different. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike Nick Riquet. Okay. If sandwiches were illegal, it would be a different story. Well, that's what I kind of said when somebody came to me and they're like, I'm really worried about Nick. Addiction is real. And I'm like, bitch, I'm addicted to cheeseburgers and nobody ever comes crying to me about it, you know? Uh, addictions happen. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like it, subscribe.